Sarah Hanley is with Tourist New Zealand. One, you know, I, you know, I said it's one of my favorite places I've never been, so maybe she'll vicariously <laughs> let me visit there today. Well, I hope so. I hope that we can talk about some things that will make you um, want to book a trip. Well, Sarah, New Zealand just opened its borders for tourists, so I got a chance. But what, what should travelers expect? Of course. No, you're right. So New Zealand borders are open uh, and all the restrictions have been lifted. So not a great time to start planning a trip down to um, New Zealand. And, you know, we know that as international travel is returning, uh, people are looking to experience nature, open spaces and the, and the great outdoors, along with more immersive journeys and meaningful connections. And New Zealand is really well positioned to deliver on these expectations. If... We have an opportunity now to visit New Zealand. Tell me, what would be some of the top destinations, and how long would it take me to get there from the U.S.? Oh, well, those are a couple of really great questions, because what I'd like to say is it's probably a little closer than you than you think. So um, the flight times range from around 13 hours for a direct flight from the West Coast, such as Los Angeles, to 17 and a half hours nonstop from uh, East Coast, uh, New York City. And uh, I think that probably one of the great things that you're going to want to hear is that American Airlines is launching a new direct flight right there out of Dallas down to Auckland. It's going to be launching this fall. Um, and as well as the direct flight from Dallas, there are six other cities where you can fly direct down to New Zealand from our airline partners. That is exciting. I really, And I love American Airlines, so that's a great way to travel. You've got a campaign called If You Seek. Tell me about that. We do. So the campaign offers a sneak peek of some of the most unique travel experiences in New Zealand. And really, it's an invitation for curious travelers to come and discover all that we have to offer, because we believe that the true magic of New Zealand can be seen and felt by visitors who, who unplug, those who they immerse, they embrace and respect our unique culture, our, our people and our, our natural environment. And we, you know, we, we say that those that do that are met with what we call manaki tanga, which is a deep expression of welcome, uh, hospitality and, and the reciprocal connection that you get when you meet the locals in New Zealand. New Zealand, uh, tell us what's one of the best things about it, especially for those of us who've not visited. Well, maybe uh, maybe if I give you a sneak peek into some of the destinations that you can explore when you're when you're in New Zealand, but maybe before I do that, maybe what might help is to get a little bit of a and. Uh, insight into the scale of New Zealand because people often don't realize how compact it is and it's around the same size as uh, Colorado so it's very easy to get around and you can see a lot in in one trip and what I like to recommend is you know when you first arrive you land in Auckland which is in the North Island and I like to recommend hopping on a 40 minute ferry ride across to the beautiful Waiheke Island it's a it's a favorite weekend getaway for locals, and there's plenty of wineries to visit, beautiful beaches, and amazing um, sunset views. Uh, just north of Auckland, there's the Bay of Islands, which is known for its uh, white sand beaches, isolated coves, and there's hundreds of small offshore islands, which make it, of course, the sailor's paradise. Um, two hours uh, out of Auckland, just um, south is Rotorua, which is a particular favorite for visitors that are wanting to experience the customs, practices, and beliefs of our Maori people. And it's also a hub for geothermal activities. Um, so it allows everyone to get up close to geysers, relax in a mud bath, or enjoy a, a soak in a hot stream. If you want to go down to the South Island, um, it's home to uh, the world's purest, natural, and most epic uh, landscapes, including the Southern Alps and Milford Sound, which you've probably seen on many movies you've watched, such as Lord of the Rings and, and Power of the Dog. Uh, and right there in the heart of the South Island is Queenstown, uh, which is often called the home of adventure. Uh, bungee jumping was first commercialized there, um, but there are many other things that you can do to have fun, including skydiving, jet boating, uh, river rafting, etc. If you're not feeling so adventurous, uh, Queenstown is also the heart of the central Otago wine region. So lots to, to do and explore. And given how compact New Zealand is, it's easy to fit a lot of locations and experiences into one, one trip. Well, Sarah, you've vicariously taken us to New Zealand. I just, I'm ready to book my flight now. Where do we go online and get some more information? 
Of course. Well, you know, we've just given you a sneak peek of uh, all that New Zealand has to offer, but we highly recommend you head across to NewZealand.com. It has a lot of great information on New Zealand as a destination and all of the experiences um, that you can do while you're down there. All right, then. Don't be surprised if you see a lot of people from the United States after this, Sarah. Thanks for being my guest on the Belder Beebe yeah. Show here in Dallas, Texas. Hey, I'm Balder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB's Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.